What's up guys, it's Jason D'Souza. I hope you all are having a great day. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a postcard in Canva. As a real estate agent, I personally use postcards to send to my potential sellers. So that way, when they are ready to sell, they remember me and they have a higher chance of using me as their realtor. Postcards are great for a few reasons. First of all, they're really affordable, being under a dollar per postcard. Second, it's very easy to use them to target certain people or areas that would be interested in your business. Third, they're measurable, meaning you know exactly how many were sent out and how many new leads or business inquiries you receive. Fourth, they're easy to get started. You can simply create one yourself or you can use a website like Fiverr.com to have someone like a professional graphic designer design one for you. So let's jump into my computer and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Now that I'm in my computer, let's talk about the two options that I discussed earlier. First is getting someone else to design your postcard. The easiest way to do this is to use a website like Fiverr.com and I left the link in the, the description for you if you want to check that out. But you go to Fiverr.com, you log in or you create an account, you type in the type of postcard or design that you're looking for. So in my case, it's real estate postcard. You press enter. And these are all of the different types of sellers that will design a postcard for you. So if you click through and you like something that you see, you can click on their profile. You can tell them all of the information and details that you want to have in the postcard and then they'll des design it for you. You have different packages here like the basic, standard, and premium and each one has a different price and it will tell you here what the package includes. Now if you decided that you want to make your own postcard, you can use canva.com. Now, if you need to, go ahead and log in or create an account and it'll bring you to this page. From here, you need to find out the dimensions of the postcard that you're going to make and you need the template for it. So let's say that you're using a printing service like Gotprint or Vistaprint. You would need to come into their All Products tab. You would then go to their postcard section you scroll down to the bottom where it says templates and file setup and these are the main things that you need. So for file setup you need a 0.1 bleed and that's very important, I'll show you right now. And for the templates you can go through and choose one of the sizes that you want to use for your postcard. For my example and what I like to do in general is I like to use the 6.5 by 8 and EDDM eligible. EDDM just stands for Every Door Direct Mailing. And this is great for people that want to do mass mailing or simple mailing to specific addresses. You can just interchange easily. You don't have to resize the postcard at all when you're designing it. Now. We know what the template is, we know what the bleed is, so let's now go into the other section where we need to download the back template. So we go to mailing services. And here it will take you to this page. It says design your product. You're going to click on download product templates. And this is if you want to mail them out. You go into here and you have two sections for the postcard now. You have the EDDM or the regular postcards. Like I said, I like using the EDDM postcards. You're going to go to the postcard that you want to use. And like I said, I use the 6.5 by 8. And to edit this in Canva, you are going to choose on the JPEG, which is just a regular image. And you can choose between a vertical design of 6.5 by 8 or a horizontal or even a rounded one. I like to use the horizontal since it is the one that I normally use. And if you are good at other programs like Adobe's 
Photoshop or Illustrator, um, or if you need it in a PDF format for another reason, then you can download it. But once you download this file, you will see it as this. So this is what it's going to look like, but we need to drag and drop this image into Canva and use as our template. So we'll get started on that next. But going over this really quickly, you have your save zone where anything inside this line will be printed for sure. Then you have the trimming zone where it will be cut around here and you have the bleed zone. It says make sure to extend the background images or colors all the way to the edge of the black outline. And this is for the back of the postcard and it just tells you what it's used for. This is for the label marking area and this is for the stamp. And I like to use this template for both the front and back of the postcard when designing it because it just makes life a little easier. So let's go back into Canva now that we have that. We need to create a design, use custom dimensions, and remember we're going to be using the 6.5 by 8, but we also need that 0.1 added in there. So we're going to put 8.1, we're going to put 6.6 .6 inches, and create design. And now you see we have our postcard ready to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to uploads. You're going to drag and drop that template that we just saved to our computer. And once that's done loading, you can put it here. But you need to resize it a little bit. So let's drag this in, drag this in, and now it fits perfectly here. Okay, so now you're going to create your postcard. You have a few options. You can either use a template from Canva or you can create your own from the very beginning. But in my case, I want to create a front and back. So I'm going to copy the page right here. So this is our front, this will be our back. And I want to use a template. So I'll type in real estate postcard and we have a ton of different postcard designs that we can use and change out the information so let's use this first one right here and there you go now when canva has a design like this it means that you have to pay for it and uh, it has its watermark right here so i like to just cut those out, cut that out, and cut that out, and put my own images. So if I wanted to put my own photo, I can type in house, oh, under photo, type in house, and I can put my main photo there, and say that I want a, oh, there's a living room right here, and yeah, let's use this right here. So there you go. You have this postcard. It's already designed. It's ready to be printed if you wanted. You can easily change out your information. So I'm going to put my name. And I want this to be a different color. Let's do, we can do black and gold. So we can do like that color right there. Change that to black. Change all the little details jason.com just for the heck of it change out my email the address and that's ready to go and remember the bleeds the bleeds are all going to show where it's going to be cut and you want all of your text and information to be within those bleeds now you have the back side the back side is a little trickier because you want to make sure that you don't cover certain areas. So if we wanted to customize the back, we can add our own photos in there like this. 
and this is pretty visible so we can actually make it less transparent by going to the transparency button right here bringing that down and adding in our information and photos now that fit with our profile what I like to do also is just cover up the areas that you're not allowed to go over like that I can copy and paste this one right here it doesn't have to be perfect but you just want to not go over those points so you have the address here and then you have the stamp here then you can add some text And then you can put this right here with your address, your phone number. And of course, you can resize all of this. And it just takes a little bit of time. You can move the information over to the left hand side, like that. Make this font size 12, make this font size 14, and website. And you can just put some more information here. Just like that. Another helpful thing is if you wanted to separate your areas of where you can go you can put a barrier so you don't cross over it and get into this side and then you can put any other information that you want down here you can put another photo actually let's say that you wanted to add this right there Lines are also very helpful when you want to separate areas. So this is a little bit bigger. And you can just play around with this and just have fun with it while you're designing. Make sure that all of your information's in there. Close that up. And if you wanted to see what it would look like totally, you can whoop, you can take out the background completely, take out the transparency, and this is what you're working with. So I want to have my logo in the box right here. And then you can put whatever text you want here. You can add other figures or charts. Let's put house. You can add different figures in here like that. And uh, this is a very simple design, but this is it. This is uh, how you make a postcard really simply in Canva. Now when you're done with this and you are ready to have this printed, you can download in PDF print because it's a high quality image. And then you can go back into the service that you're looking for to print. You go into the postcard section you put the size that you design we did the 6.5 by 8 UDDM we did a horizontal design you can choose the type of paper you want and you can just google these to find out what you like you can do a gloss cover it makes it look a little nicer you can choose 
if you want to do a full color front or and no back or you can do a full color front and a grayscale back which will be a little cheaper or you can do a full color on both sides and you can upload your designs right here so I'm gonna download my page one And I'm going to download my page two. And remember, when you're designing the back, you can always look up examples on Google to see what other people have done. Now I'm going to go back into Got Print. You're going to choose which type of color you want to do. You can select your quantity. It'll go into more details like a rounded edge or not. High gloss. And then you can just go through the rest of the information on your own. And there you have it, guys. That's how you make a postcard in Canva. You can also do it from scratch. It takes a little bit longer. Or you can, like I mentioned before, you can use some of these templates. Some of them are really awesome. So there you have it. Also, guys, if you haven't already done so, Webull is giving away two free stocks. The first one is when you open an account with them. And the second is when you deposit $100 or more, you will receive a second stock valued up to $1,400. So get on that. It's a really great opportunity to start investing in the stock market. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section. And if not, I will see you all in the next video.